Okay, so being British, I'm normally asleep when the Academy Awards happen. Most of the time, they're pretty boring and by the numbers and you can just snooze through most of them and just check Twitter the next day to see who got what. Waking up this morning, I couldn't believe what I saw and I'm sure as many of you know, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock during the Oscars after he made a joke about his wife Jada Pinkett Smith. Feels like I'm in some weird timeline where one of the nicest guys in Hollywood snapped and almost every YouTuber at this point is scrambling to put something together like Will Smith's publicist. It's the slap heard around the world. So what the hell happened? Well, during the ceremony, Chris Rock cracked a joke about Jada and Will got up on stage, hit him and then repeatedly told him to keep his wife's name out of his f***ing mouth. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins, like, please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> That was, a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here, uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is getting memed to hell, with many comparing it to the reason Will was sent to Bel Air in the first place, and they're also saying that this is going to be the last Oscars ever. I definitely think it'll be the most memorable one and it's difficult to think if there'll ever be a time where this isn't talked about every time the show is on. Now comedians over the decades have always cracked jokes at the Oscars and these are normally taken in the spirit that they're given. Where Rox kind of walks the line a bit is that Jada has alopecia and thus a bold joke is kind of making fun of a disease rather than it being something ego related. Now I don't think Chris was aware of that but he's not really said anything otherwise. You can actually catch Will laughing at the joke before he comes on stage and this is definitely why Chris was chuckling as he came up to him. Now Will Smith actually went on to win Best Actor for his role in King Richard but this entire situation has completely overshadowed the whole thing. Here's his speech. Oh man. Uh, Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Making this film, I got to protect Ingenue Ellis who was one of the most, the strongest, most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. And I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take abuse, you got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's okay. But 
Richard Williams. And what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. <laughs> now you got people cheering for him, standing up for his wife, some saying he went too far, and everyone is weighing in what happened. There's even reports that he might have to hand his Oscar back because he's violated Academy rules, and though Rock isn't pressing charges, it's a very bad look. Now, I kind of went through a mix of emotions when watching the clip, and after the shock, I was actually stunned to the point I didn't know where I came down on it. After thinking about it and seeing all the reactions, I think this is a really bad look, and that it'll probably loom over Smith's career for a long time. What Will Smith did tonight was straight bullshit. Props and congratulations to him for winning the Oscar, because damn it, he deserved it. And I love the brother, and I'm proud of him, but boy, was that a shameful act for him to commit tonight. To go up on stage and slap Chris Rock like that, he's lucky he didn't get his ass kicked, particularly after the event was over. If not by Chris Rock, to the fellas he had there with him, I mean, damn. Denzel and Bradley Cooper and Tyler Perry having to calm you down, your publicist having to run out and, and calm you down, I mean, damn, come on, bro. Come on, man. There's no excuse for it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't even try to justify it, okay? Chris Rock said it years ago, every time black folks doing something, you know who messes it up. I never dreamed of my wildest dreams, I'd be saying that about Will Smith. A black man, Will Packer, did a phenomenal job producing the Oscars, and you do this to stain yourself, to stain the Academy Awards? Damn. And that's pretty much where I come down on it too. I think that stand-up comedy has its own context, and that when you go after people for jokes they make during it, that you're stepping outside of the medium and taking it to somewhere that it shouldn't go. Again, stand-up is a medium, and with that comes the notion that everything said in it shouldn't be taken seriously. Will even laughed at the joke initially, and then probably as he took a second to think about it, he got very heated. To me, it's not the right thing to do, and though his wife was made fun of during the awards, assaulting Rock publicly for the world to see was the wrong way to go about it. I think that the matter should have been handled privately, away from the cameras, because it's really soured the entire thing and completely overshadowed the whole event. I think Smith is basically a man who's been at breaking point for a long time and often the person who makes the cup spill over gets the full repercussions of it when Rock was just making what he thought was going to be a fun joke. Jada and Will have been bagged on for quite a while over the whole entanglement thing that was made public last year and their dirty laundry has been aired for the whole world. Just feels like Smith broke and I'm sure in right respect that he feels he shouldn't have lost his temper like that as he's apologised for doing it. It could also lead to his Oscar being stripped from him as he's broken their cut of conduct and yet all that hard work can be whisked away in a second if you do something like this. Now this is going to be really highly debated and for every meme, tweet and reaction you see, there's an equal and opposite one saying something different. Just tons of people weighing in, which I think kind of supports my thoughts that it should have been dealt with privately. Hell, I don't even make videos like this, but it's such a big thing that's rocked the movie community that I had to talk about it. Unintentional pun aside, yeah, I do this as a job full time so... Excuse me for covering this as it's just something that we have to talk about because it's such a big story coming out of the awards. Now because of this, I think that the negative discourse that's arisen from this shows it was a negative act and for every person saying you're supposed to defend your wife like that, you've then got others bringing up the entanglement and it's just messy. This is a sensitive subject and I think everyone's initial first reactions might change as the day goes on. It's really set a bad example and kind of shows Chris Rock takes a punch better than Will Smith takes a joke. It's really messed up and obviously everyone is going to have their opinions on whether they think it's acceptable or not. I know dislikes have been disabled but hit that thumbs up button if you agree it was wrong and hit the thumbs down if you think Smith was right. There's no way to really see this stuff anymore unfortunately but if dislikes don't mean anything then likes probably don't mean anything either but heyo, that's YouTube. Now you can also leave a comment discussing your point of view and I'm really interested to see where people come down on this. Make sure you let me know, and if you want something a bit more positive to watch, then check out our breakdown of The Flash going into the Speed Force, which will be on screen right now. That won the Oscar cheer moment last night, and it's kind of more in line with what we typically tend to do here. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. No doubt this will be talked about a lot, so buckle up. Without the way, I've been Paul, you've been the best, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, peace.